Tuesday evening. Well, it's Tuesday for us in the afternoon, but we're going to show you what project number 15 is. We're here at the uh, home of Justin and Alicia. The business owner is getting a facelift to his front entryway. So we're really excited. We get to show you guys that though water features are our passion, that is what we prefer to do, if you are looking at us and saying, well, do you do landscaping as well? Because the people we want to do our water feature, we'd like them to be able to do some patio work at the same time. We are definitely the people for that. Uh, and this is gonna be a great episode to show you just some of our capabilities with landscaping, not just water features. So we're gonna be redoing this front entryway here, taking out this old concrete. You can see, I don't know if you can see very well from the video here, but we have a lot of settling. A lot of this is really at a uh, harsh angles. There's a lot of wasted space because when you walk up against a house, you're not gonna walk with like this, are you? You know, hey. So we're gonna change it a little bit so it's a little easier for them to walk up to their house, a little more inviting. And then there are mice getting into the home. So we're gonna take out some of this. Well, first we're taking out this whole walkway. We're taking out the gravel, we're taking out plants. We're getting this all cleared out to zero. And then we're gonna put a little uh, kidney shaped patio over here, kidney bean shape, so they can have some nice chairs on it. And we gotta work on getting these pop outs out. So we've got a lot to do here. And here's the tear out of that walkway, which was just on sand, was designed where this downspout went basically nowhere, and you had to have something go across, and this caused a huge water problem here, so we're gonna be adding some concrete and whatever the Home Depot guy tells me to try to keep this all legit and supported, but we're definitely gonna do some stuff to fix this you know look at that so I'll, I'll be looking into that definitely some concrete gonna be involved maybe some foam I don't know much about that yet but I will after this tear out underway three years in the making and what I mean by that is uh, every year we kind of got to my project we just kept on moving right by because makeup week <laughs> yeah yeah it's a makeup week and we used it uh, but this time we're doing it and good thing because this could cause a lot of issues if we didn't address it and uh, my wife will be super happy. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, well, I gotta hop on a 515 phone call. So that's gonna do it for the end of day one here at Justin's house. Thank you for joining us. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button. It's a free thing you can do to help us. And it just, all we're trying to do is spread the word that water features are fun. This time we're gonna show you that patios are fun too because it's a gathering spot. It's a place to relax at the end of the day, watch your kid play in the front yard, have a sip of a cool beverage and connect with your family. So it is very much fun. And we're gonna show you that patios are fun too. This time it starts here in Egan, Minnesota. And that's gonna do it for the end of day one. We'll be back tomorrow where we're gonna really hit it hard and do what we can to get this base in a good spot. All right, everyone, we'll talk to you then. Good morning everyone, it's the start of day two here on project number 15, Justin's house. Uh, the guys got everything torn up and get, got into the dump yesterday, well, dumping trailer. Justin took it to the dump this morning, and now we're getting ready to work on the concrete where holy moly is there some stuff we gotta do on this. We've gotta do a lot of concrete work. Goal is we're gonna fill in most of these gaps with concrete and get it so that those are gonna, not gonna be a problem anymore. The whole reason we're doing this is because Justin had a crazy mice infestin infestation over the last couple of winters, and he found the only way he's gonna be able to stop that from happening is if he can seal all this up. And you can see just all the problems that are wide open there. So we're gonna get that all taken care of. And then we're gonna put in a patio too. So it's gonna be sweet.
Justin with Pond King here. We are now offering concrete things that we try to make for you. So I don't know, like things? maybe like seven seven hundred and fifty bucks right here, and we'll just give it a shot. You know, we'll mix up some concrete. And hey, folks, do you trust the guy that says concrete things? I do. <laughs> you know what we do? We just pour it in there, and we. Just <laughs> Cross our fingers? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're just doing things. Concrete. So if you have some concrete things, call Mark at 952-454. And I'll give you a number of the concrete guy. <laughs> ah, it's fun trying stuff you've never tried before, though. Here we are. It's better than lifting the whole thing out, and hopefully it'll keep the mice out of my basement. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think we have a creative team that uh, if we do things wrong and you're a mason out there and we did it wrong, I don't care. <laughs> at least we're not doing it wrong at your house. Yeah. <laughs> we do not do concrete and it's because we're not experts. But at my house, this is where we give it a try and practice and see if in a pinch we could do it. Yeah. Those guys, those concrete guys, they don't need measuring cups for the water, they just eyeball it. They use their eye. I would have. It's the best measuring tool, your eye. My eye. <laughs> got a lot done today. A lot of things that needed to be done and addressed. We got this concrete in and it's really starting to settle up. And that was really where the mice were getting underneath the house. So that's not going to be a problem anymore. That's stuffed with concrete and we're going to finish that off in the morning. And then we'll have class five where we're at. The guys got the hole dug out. They got dirt hauled out. Man, what a long day. A lot done today. Patios are a lot of work. That's no doubt. Unique to the scene. We gotta let the music play. base material getting put in and we're gonna pull our homeowner special out and see if it falls apart let's see it look at that so if you're looking for a contractor to do your concrete well, call a concrete guy <laughs> Good thing that's all gonna be buried, you won't see it, but I think it'll do its job and be strong enough. All right guys, just a little update here on the progress. We have the step complete. I'm gonna leave these big blocks on here, even though it's been a day. I like to just give it a few days to glue, uh, for the, excuse me, a few days for the glue to dry. But as you can see, that bulldoze edge turned out pretty good. The wife liked it too, which, you know, that's that's the main objective and then the stress mitigator and i trench this schedule 40 pvc for the drain under here and then i'll put the, a cap on it and hide it with some rocks and stuff for now got your quarter bubble a little more you'll get about it so that's going to be super strong well just about got this whole pipe buried in in this area slope nicely so i don't have any water problems so i'll cover it with gravel i got some of that border started along the step there making sure everything is nice and square so when i lay the field that will also be nice and square what are you doing sweetie i got her working on this very important project of filling that pipe with the blue chip project to keep her busy are you having fun you having fun? Mm-hmm, she said. All right, little camera shot here. All right, good job. And a testament to the stress mitigator, my dad, not a surprise, here he is on his birthday, helping his son lay the last paver patio he'll ever lay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
That's how I feel after every time I do this. It's hard work, it's a young man's job, but if you go at a nice slow pace and have your dad help on his birthday. It's still hard work. It's still hard work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, 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 good morning everyone. I am your friendly neighborhood pond king and I have no idea what day number this is, but we're working on project number 15. That is Justin's house. We're gonna be working on the patios here and getting it cut and ready for us to do the border. Him and his dad have been working really hard to get us ready for this point. It's a Sunday, a little uh, before nine here, and we're gonna get ready to start figuring out our cuts and, and what the plan will be, and uh, doing what we can to get this prepped and ready so that when we do have time to come in with dirt, we can finish off the dirt work, and this will be complete. That's what perfection looks like. No, that's what perfection looks like. Yeah, that saw is awesome. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. he does it again. <laughs> that is America's ass. I really like the way this looks with the border being the same color as the field. It's making this paver patio that much larger. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel substantial. Unique to the scene. We gotta let the music play. Hey, 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 it's a new day here on Project 15. I don't even know what day it is. That's, that's what I'm saying, it's a new day. We're really happy the team is here rallying. Even though we got rain coming, we're still gonna do what we can to get this done and help Justin out. And that really is awesome, so. <laughs> Things are looking great. That's got to be an exciting little feeling right there, huh? That's butterflies. <laughs> yeah, I got married, you know? I'm just kidding. Uh, just not kidding. quite. Uh, not quite. Just not making good. sure she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to do it. <laughs> Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens. Living works of art, one yard at a time.